this is Lillian Bridge. Today we are going to be studying the book of Matthew chapter 25 from verse 1 to 13. It is the story of the 10 virgins. And before we go further, do take a second to press that subscribe button below so that you become a full member of this family. You're not going to regret it. And let's quickly commit everything into the hand of our maker who will help us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you for this great opportunity. And I say, may you send your Holy Spirit to come and speak to your amazing children. Through me, for me, and with me. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Matthew 25, from verse 1 to 13. Let's go. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Once there was ten young women who took their oil lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and the other five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps, but did not take extra oil with them. Why the wise one took container full of oil for their lamps? The bridegroom was late in coming, so the woman began to nod and fall asleep. It was already midnight when the cry rang out here is the bridegroom come and meet him the ten women woke up and trimmed their lamp then the foolish ones said to the wise ones let us have some of your oil because our lamps are going out no indeed the wise ones answered there is not enough for you and for us go to the shop and buy some for yourself so the foolish woman went off to buy some oil and while they were gone the bridegroom arrived the five who were ready went in with him to the wedding feast and the door was closed later the other women arrived sir sir let us in they cried out certainly not I don't know you, the, the bridegroom answered. And Jesus concluded, be on your guard then because you do not know the day or the hour. Wow, this is so powerful. And there are too much lessons to learn here. Who are the ten, the ten virgins? They are me and you. We Christians are the virgins. And the lamp is your heart yes the only is your right standing with god that relationship you have with god the wise virgins are genuine christian and obedience to god's law but the foolish one are the disobedient one and those that do eye service those that say this but their heart is seeing another the bridegroom is jesus coming for us again that is our maker that is god and then you don't know the time that time is what your death when death will meet you and which door was shut that is heaven door what does extra oil represent it is god's grace that is going to make you to keep on lingering to keep on having that faith and patience in god so you should be able to ask yourself, as I should ask myself, am I the foolish one or the, the wise one? Am I those Christians that I say this, but I don't do it? Those Christians that don't obey Christ. Remember that these women, they were all invited. And the other people, five, they prepared everything. They carried extra oil in case of anything. If they will be need for it, but the other one, they took just their lamp. And when they came, they all fell asleep. They didn't even bother to ask before. Because this is what God keep on telling us, keep on reminding the Holy Spirit, keep on mystering it in our heart. That we have to come closer to God. That we have to renew our covenant. We have to develop that strong bond with God, but we keep on being distracted. We keep on overlooking it. We don't want to dive deep until the last day 
they were sleeping when they were told that the bridegroom is almost they started to think about their lamp and they were begging but you see because these people have built the strong relationship they have with god they cannot be able to share it it is a journey that everybody has to go even if you're a pastor's child you have to go through this journey it is a personal race but you and i are so happy so blessed that we are hearing this message now what are we going to do with it because the other people it was then that it was done on them that they have to run around imagine at that middle of the night getting going to buy the oil do you want to run her taskers? What of if your own will not be late? That God is almost knocking. God is here already. Will you be fine toward him? Will you be this wise virgin? Because in the process of finding, it was then that they knew that there is not that way. We have to reconcile with God. But unfortunately, he has shut the door. He said, get out because I don't know you. That shouldn't be your portion, and that shouldn't be my portion as well. We should be those wise ones that make her when there is still light. That, that plans ahead of time. So it is automatically a wake-up call. And you see, because there was delay, they lost it. They couldn't meet up. What is that thing you're waiting on God for? Is it your hurt, your sickness, your hurt, your ch bearing children, your wet? What is that? Just name it. God is saying, is asking, it is a quick of call. Do you still have that grace to keep on waiting? Is your faith still top notch? Are you having that strong relationship with God? Do will your patience keep you waiting on God? Because it is very, very important that we don't lose it. That we keep on trusting God every second in time. It is very, very important. I will keep on begging him for his grace so that we will not relent. But it is very important that you wake up already and say, no, I'm going to be those wise virgins, those wise virgins that are not going to be hypocrites, that we are going to be those children, those servants of God, that indeed what we showcase outside is what is really going on inside we shouldn't be good at church but at home we are nothing to write home about we should be those people that serve god genuinely because no matter how we deceive ourselves no matter how we deceive others one thing that is guaranteed is this that god cannot be deceived so it is very important that you arise i arise and make a new and start developing that relationship with god that will keep on us ready at that appointed time it is very important and i speak unto your life may you determine may you decide to say that enough is enough i'm not going to be among those foolish virgins that will lose it because god is giving us a lot may you receive the auction to function may you receive that anointing that grace that will push you forward may you be that christian that we did long that we did want to have communication passion for God, not just about solving your issues, but those ones that are going to come and be ready, those ones that are going to come and indeed put in the effort. It is very, very important. May God Almighty continue to grant us His grace that is abundant so that we can do exploit in the mighty name of jesus king of king the lord of lord i don't know i speak unto your life any area that you're waiting i speak i speak god's faith god's grace god's empowerment god's patience so that you'll be able to persevere so that your oil will still be there at that appointed day in the mighty name of jesus may you receive a hurt and healing may you receive your abundant blessing may you receive that that you're waiting on God for in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory, because I know you're good in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. May you subscribe, share, and click that like button. Put on your post notification. And remember, I love you.